Hey everybody, this is that German guy Josh Ronquist and I'm sitting here with one of my favorite guitarists of all time, Marty Friedman, who's here to promote his upcoming US tour and of course uh, he will uh, he is in promotion for his latest 2014 album, Inferno. How's it going? Yeah, pretty good man, how you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, uh, like I said, it's a complete honor to be able to sit down here with you and be able to do this interview. I've been a fan for such a long time and I just, it's really cool to be able to do this with you. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. No, uh, not a problem. Uh, so how did this US tour come about? Well, um, I've been on tour for Inferno for quite a while. I did two runs in Europe. I did a whole bunch of stuff in Japan. I'm about to do a summer festival this uh, in, in August called Summer Sonic, which is a, a big one over here. And, um, and then uh, to kind of like finish the Inferno tour off with a bang, I'm going to do my first U.S. solo tour like ever. I mean, I did one in 2003, but I don't really like to count that because it was only the West Coast. Um, so this is my first real solo tour of the U.S., so uh, myself and the band are extremely excited about it. Oh, it's very cool. Who Who's going to be part of the touring lineup for uh, the U.S. run? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely a mind-boggling band. Um, on drums, I've got uh, the drummer is the only guy who I've toured outside of Japan with before. Um, a guy named Chargy, and um, he did my European tours, and he's a uh, just a visual maniac. I would, I would think that he's like a Japanese Tommy Lee on steroids with about a billion times more energy. <laughs> so um, he, he's on fire. And uh, bassist name is Kiyoshi and guitarist name is Jordan. And um, these are all people that are probably new to um, my American fans. And uh, believe me, they're going to blow your mind. Oh, that's very cool. It definitely sounds like it's going to be a great touring lineup for you. And you got some amazing Amazing uh, support as well from uh, the band Exmortis on the whole tour. Sure, yeah, they're a great band. Oh, very cool. And of course, uh, once again, you are in support of your latest uh, first American released album in quite a long time, Inferno. Uh, now that it's uh, 2015, how is the reception still going for Inferno? It's by far the best received solo album I've ever released. Um, people can't get enough of it. I mean, uh, just by the amount of interviews that they've set up for me, the people who want to talk about about this U.S. tour, um, I've got like 30 of them lined up right in front of me just right now, and this is just in today. <laughs> so uh, I'm blown away by the reaction to it. And I'm really surprised. You know, I didn't really see it coming. Prosthetic, the, you know, the record label who, you know, it's thanks to them that I'm even doing anything in America in the first place. They said, look, you know, if you do something in America, uh, people are waiting for you to do it. And I'm like, you know, I, I'm really set up in Japan. I'm doing all my things in Japan. And they're like, you know, there, now would be the time if you want to do it. This was like a couple of years ago. And they came to Japan and met with my record label here in Japan. And they were so enthusiastic. And they said, look, if you just do what you do and, and do it the way you want to do it. And, and you know, if you do something really great, people are going to uh, really respond to it. And so I really tried to, you know, obviously I always try to do my best, but this time, you know, uh, I'm really thinking about what all my American friends and what all my friends outside of America really, really want from me. And so I told, put a lot of thought into that and really, uh, you know, work my tail off on it. And well, God damn it, it's been the best uh, received album ever. And I couldn't be happier. I mean, Rolling Stone magazine gave me some love for the first time. I mean, this is my 12th record in uh, Billboard and all this kind of stuff. So I'm really, really excited and flattered, first of all, because I, I was completely sure that uh, either people disliked me completely or they were just not uh, receptive to, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that I've done outside of America. But, uh, you know, it's, it's been great. I'm really excited. Well, I'm glad to see it, too, because Inferno is such an incredible album and it has been such a long time that you've toured in america it's great to be able to see uh, the whole fruition of everything coming amongst this inferno tour it's so cool to see thank you so much oh not a problem so has the japanese reception been on par with the american reception or has the american reception been more for inferno well i haven't played in america for it yet so i don't really know for sure what the reaction 
situation's gonna be, you know, until I'm face to face with the, the fans. But uh, I've done a whole bunch of shows here in Japan for Inferno. We played at Loud Park last uh, last year, and we've done uh, uh, Tokyo shows and uh, shows outside of Tokyo, and it's just been fantastic. Um, so I really don't know what America has in store. Um, judging from the, you know, the buzz that I've got, you know, about this tour and about the record when it came out, it can it, it can really be fantastic. But I really I don't want to comment on that until we get through a bunch of shows. Oh sure, sure. Uh, going back into Inferno, you got an amazing uh, guest list spot on the album. Uh, you got such incredible musicians working with you on that. Uh, is there anyone that wasn't uh, on the Inferno album that you'd like to work with in the future for a future solo release? Yeah, there's a lot of great people out there. And um, the idea of collaborating with people who I like me um because you get this special enthusiasm you know it's not about just like calling people up who've sold some records it's about calling people up who really are enthusiastic about the opportunity of playing with somebody that they you know are inspired by and someone who i'm inspired by their music too so it's kind of a big love fest if you will but um i find it quite uh stimulating so uh I, there's a lot of people i would love to work with on the next record i mean i'm a big fan of this band deaf heaven and um i would love to do a collaboration with them and and uh decapitated i could see some really sick stuff coming between me and them and but uh you know not that i have either of these guys lined up for any next record but uh, the the ideas have you know come into my mind about it oh very cool i'm already imagining some ideas that you'd be able to throw in with that if that was ever to happen so with all the guests that you did have on inferno it is safe to say that you're fans of everybody that was on the release as well right yeah i mean absolutely i mean the record company gave me a list of people it's amazing what people in media can do you know they found all these comments that all these different people said you know in interviews and whatever and uh, i was just flattered by these comments and if i knew the artist great if i didn't know the artist i'd look them up right then and there and hear what they did and and i was just blown away you know because none of these people are marty clones in any way they have their own complete style their own complete identity and yet they say that they were inspired by me so you know i I find that really really fantastic oh very much so and i think that's the biggest form of flattery too when someone says that they use you for an inspiration but doesn't do exactly what you do but they use their own interpretation and still say that you're able to be inspired by someone i think that's definitely the best way to go you're, you're so right i mean it means a whole lot more i mean if somebody you know clone was a clone of my playing i wouldn't be nearly as impressed as someone who has their own thing but they still say that they dig what i do oh very much so uh so uh getting into the american tour that is coming up is it just going to be focused on your solo material well i've got 12 albums of solo stuff so there's more than enough to go through there and uh, that's pretty much the main focus of it you know um inferno is going to be a lot of it um but i also have you know a a long history of stuff that people have been uh, waiting to hear live that's never been played live or never been played live in america so to speak so there's a lot of stuff to go i i think uh, the main key is energy it's the the main uh, thread that's going to go through the whole thing is just i think a lot of people will be surprised by the amount of energy because uh, a lot of people think oh it's a guitarist it's instrumental music get set for a guy wanking for 90 minutes you know it's it's not going to be that at all it's 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 a big sweaty steroided out energy night type of thing <laughs> yeah i mean that's that's the great thing about your music i mean with all 12 albums that you've gone through you know it's just there's a lot of diversity to it there's a lot of great heavy moments shreddy moments melodic moments i mean I, picturing a 90 minute show of everything that you'd be doing through your solo material i mean it'd be a great roller coaster of a show yeah i mean uh, you got to keep it entertaining I and mean, i find instrumental music as a rule kind of tough to uh, to really swallow for a long time so i've got to keep that in mind as creating the set list and doing we got a lot of little special surprises little corners and stuff that fans are gonna really be surprised what the hell's going on so uh, i think uh, it's gonna be a fun night for everybody especially us oh very much so and again it's just i'm so happy to be able to see you hitting america again although sadly it's not going to be hitting my area as i live in minnesota and the closest show is about eight or nine hours away is there any 
chance maybe in 2016 or in the future of like another U.S. tour? Well, that's what this tour is about. You know, it's like it's kind of testing the waters. It's, the reality is I haven't toured in America for any serious long tour ever. So it's kind of testing the waters. If this tour goes great. It's obvious that uh, I'm going to do another tour in America. But um, you, know, you just never know what's going to happen. So if it doesn't go great or if the promoters aren't happy or whatever, then this could be it. You know, you just absolutely don't know. I mean, everything is pointing to it being the most insane tour of my career. A fantastic tour is at hand. But, um, you know, you just never know the musical climate. So uh, I would say make that eight hour drive just in case. But um, I've had some great times in uh, Minnesota, too. So hopefully the second run will get me there as well. Oh, that definitely would be great. So I am actually contemplating it right now, just trying to see if I would be able to make it fit in my schedule to be able to make a 16 hour round trip because I know it would totally be worth it to see it for this tour. Yeah, I hope to see you there. Oh, absolutely. Uh, hey, so, you know what? I think, uh, I think we're done. We have to be finished because I got one at 930 that's ringing me right now. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. So uh, well, I hate to cut you off. but uh, Oh, not a problem. I mean, uh, in case the server happens again, uh, there's so many more questions I'd love to ask you and thank you for taking the time to be able to do this interview. I, you know what? I'd, ha I'd be happy to do more. Please uh, set it up with Kelly and she'll make it happen. Oh, awesome. I'm looking forward to it, man. Have a great thank day so and much. I'm looking forward to the tour. Thank you, Josh. Oh, thank you. Right. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.